In this video, I want to talk a little bit about extroverted thinking and introverted feeling and the goals of both of those and how they can align to reach one goal. And so if you are a TJ or an FP within the Myers-Briggs system, this will help you get a little bit better decision-making clarity and be able to take your life to the next level. What's up Game Changers? Sherman here from Geek Psychology, helping you find your true character and level it up so you can play life better. I recently made a video on extroverted feeling and introverted thinking and how they're both looking at the systems of things to make decisions. You can check that video out over there. In this video though, because I got a question about how it might work with extroverted thinking and introverted feeling, I wanted to give you my understanding of it and a little example from my life as well. So introverted feeling is all about making decisions that resonate with you, that feel right. A lot of times it's checking in with your conscience and weighing and evaluating things based on your internal harmony. So you look at a situation like, does this feel like the right thing that's most authentic to me? Does this feel like it's aligned with my being to make a decision? Extroverted thinking is looking largely at how do I logically organize my surroundings and the resources that I have, like time, energy, money, people, in order to reach the goal that I have set. And it, it creates that system so that other people understand what the goal is if they were to look at it. Like if you if you're thinking about books, like a you know, the the way books are arranged are alphabetical, right? That's because if it's set up that way, everybody can look at it and understand the process to find the book that they want. I know that's a weird example for extroverted thinking, but that's the, the system that it's using. If it was based on introverted feeling, it would be like, well, these are all the books that I like. These are the ones I don't really like too much. And then these are the ones that they're okay. They're okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not set up in a way that other people would be able to look at and understand the rules of the game. So for IFPs, for example, um, when we, in a, in a broad scheme of things, right, we're looking at our life and we're, we're saying, okay, I need to understand who I am on this really deep fundamental level. And if I figure that out, if I really understand myself and my values and, and what I like and don't like, and sometimes there isn't that much language around it, but that's, this is the process. If I understand all these things, then my goal will emerge and my life will be perfect for me because I've, I've gained so much clarity and um, calibration over who I am and what I want, that the process will will naturally come. And, and when I feel fully convicted about it, when everything is there and I really know what I want, well then I'll, I'll be able to create the system and I'll have all the energy in the world to do it. If you're an INFP and you were listening to that, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. But you, you know, we, we need to bring in extroverted thinking. We need to create the structure, the, the marketing plan to do it. And this is me talking about this. And this is something that I struggle with too. So extroverted thinkers, on the other hand, the ETJs, you spend all this time and energy and effort uh, achieving these massive goals, rising to the top of the, the company or whatever it is, um, even you know buying a house for yourself and a car and all these, these things, you know, achievement after achievement. And from my perspective, a lot of that is with the goal that when you have achieved all the things that you want, then you'll know who you are at a deep level. Through achieving all these things, through reaching this success and creating a structure for your life that everything is in the place that it needs to be, then at that point, you'll either be able to understand yourself through that process, or then you'll have the time and the energy and the effort to relax and to understand yourself, to put those puzzles together within you. And I know a lot of ETJs that are worried about at the end of their life getting to that 
point where they're like, wait, did I really want to achieve all this? Like, what was the point of it? Does it really match who I am? And even not at the end of their life, you know, in, in the late 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, a lot of ETJs get hit with that, hmm, hmm, is this really right for me? Well, maybe I just need to work harder at it and suck it up and continue to do my job and strategize a bit more. And so you see how they're both working together, though, if you understand yourself at a deep level and if you create a structure around things and you're able to measure it and break it down into small goals then you can reach that structure so both of them are looking at well what is the the right action for me to take what is the right action for other people to take but if you're thinking about yourself then you get to that point of okay i need to evaluate this i need to weigh this so a lot of ITJs, EFPs, have that back and forth tug, that pull. So there are bugs flying around. That back and forth tug or pull of, okay, well, I think I know what I want, but what, what is the plan? What do I need to do? And what are other people wanting me to do? What is the structure? Go away. What is the structure that they expect and that they can understand who I am based on what I've created? And so it's, it's just this constant back and forth between what is the right choice for my next action. So just as a, a little takeaway from this, I really want you to think about what is expanding you when you make a decision. When you're leaning towards something, I don't know if you've seen, there's a recent Rick and Morty episode where he puts this crystal on his forehead and he can see his death. It kind of reminds me of that. And he, he's trying to avoid it. He's, he's like dodging his death by each word that he says and each movement he makes in order to, to reach his goal of being with the girl that he likes. But it's kind of like that for FPs. It's, okay, if I do this thing, how is it going to make me feel and who is it going to make me become? And you only know it through getting close enough or actually committing to make that decision to know, okay, this, this made me expand. This made me feel better about myself and, and more in tune with myself. Or this didn't, and I'm not going to do that again. So for the TJs, I want you to think about that. How can you set up your life so that when you do take an action, which is you do all the time, you take many decisive actions, that it's going to be right for you. I want you to go into that feeling a little bit and say, okay, I liked this. I didn't like this. And next time you make a choice, bring that in. Bring a little bit of that feeling in. And so for the FPs, it's more about taking the steps and creating a structure. So what's the first step you can do to, to move a little bit closer towards what you think might be your goal? Even if you're not 100% sure what you feel might be your goal. You just need to take the first step because when you do that, you gain so much more insight into it. And through that, you gain more insight into yourself. Okay, so I hope that this video helped. If it did, please let me know down below what helped you. And if you're an FP or a TJ, what do you do to make better decisions and how do you craft that and how do you make up for some of your weaknesses it's a lot of questions but if you could answer one of those or two of those um, it'll help me understand and calibrate more and it'll help somebody else that's going through the same stuff as you or something similar parallel along their journey okay keep up the lifelong questing good luck have fun peace oh <coughs> Hmm. Can you wave hello? Say hello. Mummy, more hi to you. Hello. What you doing? Blowing bubbles. Ooh, blowing bubbles. Oh, 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 oh.